Hello everyone, Sigler here, Jeff Bork, you can call me whatever you'd like. Uh, yes, I'm on Alliance, as you can see, uh, playing on a druid on the Living Flame EU. Um, since I'm from the EU myself, I thought I I um, actually want to play some Alliance as well. And uh, I haven't done that anything so far, pretty much, in Season of Discovery. I think I have like a level 5 Paladin or something like that. But this Druid is almost level 10. And I got Star Search and everything. Um, I don't remember the name of the player, but I got help with it. So I think it was Ad like Adidas or something. But yeah, uh, so that was awesome. So I am at level... 11 and I have one gold how you might ask well I actually got it borrowed uh, from Solheim uh, if you haven't followed him on YouTube and Twitch and everything I'll put some uh, links in the description below um, I was like well I'm if I'm gonna play on on your server uh, could you g get me like a starting capital and on like one gold and he was like yeah sure and then I was like I I want to have a more of a challenge so once I have 10 X this um, this gold I'm gonna pay back 10 gold so it, it's a loss for me and, I, and it's like an investment for him so right now we are uh, gonna try to see like how can we get gold this way? So um, I'm gonna focus on cooking. So basically, I'm just gonna skill cooking and everything. Uh, like these ones, for also for example. I'm not sure if this would these would will sell though. I'm not that confident in them, but I'm pretty sure this small baked egg is gonna sell for sure. So I'm gonna buy a lot of those and just stand around and craft. So, and you also might wonder like, what happened to the Warlock? Well, I haven't forgotten it. It's almost level 38. Um, the reason why I stopped on it a little bit is because of the latest post uh, on Wowhead, for example, where, um, is it only one mailbox? Oh my jeez. Okay. Well, um, there is an update coming to to uh, phase two where you're gonna have the leveling buff. Um, like you know the level like fifty percent like this one. It's gonna be a h over uh, up to a hundred percent up to level thirty nine. So it felt like like I'm I'm not that much of a raider and stuff like that. I really love to play like the auction house and stuff like that. So, and like, sure, there's a couple of uh, like farms out there, but I've been super busy of late and like have some personal issues in my life and stuff like that. So I haven't been able, been, I haven't been able to play as much as I'd like, but yeah. That's basically what I'm gonna do. It's uh, uh, like my plan is to yeah just pretty much AOE grind on this one and try to find like leveling spots, uh, just to grind and mog like like mob grind, and see what kind of items we can farm. While uh, like for the like uh, waylaid supplies and crafting so stuff like that. Um, yeah, and just level it up and doing it that way, uh, which is a way that I, I love really much. And with the star search and everything, it's going to be pretty quickly. But what professions will I choose on this one, on a brand spanking new server for me? Um, I've been like contemplating on what I should be having and stuff like that. And I think that, like, I think uh, s maybe skinning and 
I know that Solheim was like, oh, you should choose uh, leatherworking, but I don't like leatherworking. It's so it's such a boring one. Since since the demand on this is a feeling you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like since there's a lot of skinners out there and skinning is easier to come by than like mining and herbs it feels like it's 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 harder to make profit on it because there's like the supply is is like so much of it that the it pulls like the skinning profession is tanking everything so much and which makes it so it 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 drags leather working with it so I'm not sure yet, but like I, I'm, I'm, I think I will choose engineering, and maybe, maybe actually like tailoring because tailoring is is. It's a very nice uh, profession because I love to just buy some cloth, make it to bolts, and sell them if they, it's profitable. It's very easy, and you can buy it out, and just craft and go AFK. Mining is also nice, uh, just that you can buy this the materials from auction house and smelt and make profit out of it. The only issue though is that it's, uh, you don't have that much of a, like if everything is tanked, you have nothing to craft. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I think like engineering and tailoring or something, because since I'm not planning to raid, I don't really care about like the epics because sure it's cool to have the, like the epic goggles and stuff like that but mm, it is like I don't really care that much really so I could go with the ultimate though just for the transmute um, you can transmute right transmute Well, you can transmute iron into gold and mithril to s true silver. So that could be nice. And yeah, that is like pretty much my plan to do on this one. I, uh, I'm going to show you. Let me see if I can change the window. Uh, 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 um, wait, this one. This one, this one. Okay. Why isn't it working? Come on. Oh, here we go. So on my Warlock at the moment, I don't have that much gold. And there's a reason for that. Uh, the reason is that I have, uh, let's do like this, slash T S M. And remember, I don't have that much gold pretty much all the time. And you can see here, I was up at 200 and th 232 gold. And it tanked here. And there's a specific reason for that. Uh, like here, I did uh, I did post like a lot of stuff on the auction house. Like pretty much everything I had stored from uh, like the early investments now that some of the items have uh, it went up in value so i did post it here and once i did that i spent like what is this uh from well it's from here actually so i spent what's that okay i am very bad at math at these times uh 232 minus 72 so I spent around 150 gold on on phase three investments that I bought for vendor price, like different kind of investments for vendor price. Well, it's cut like a few silvers over the the vendor price, but some of them, like they are definitely gonna go up in value. So yeah, I. Pretty much started and started all over again. I feel like, and uh, yeah, that is uh, what I've done. I'm not gonna show the investments yet because I feel it's a little bit too early 
uh, not that I think that <laughs> it's gonna like my videos is gonna affect the market that much but I think it's a little bit too early we are not even a month into this phase but yeah I'll, I'll make an update later on the phase three investments but that's what I've been doing uh, a little bit lately I have been like I said I've been super busy with uh, real life issues and I also have a family to take care of so yeah and like like I always uh, always say this is my hobby and it like I see my hobby as my work of course but real life issues always comes first so yeah uh, if you press on this video over here uh, which one should we pick uh, yeah uh, if you press on this video over here you will see why enchanting is uh, my favorite uh, my favorite profession so far through the history of uh, world of warcraft and uh, yeah i'll hope you to see you again in the next video Pork, pork.